What is happening guys? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Thermaltake's new Ring Plus LED fans. Now these are 16.8 million RGB colors. They have a few features that are different from the previous generations of these. So I hope you all enjoy. These fans are designed with airflow in mind as well as static pressure. They have nine scooped fin designs, which means they are able to push air a lot more, creating more static pressure and more airflow through the case. So these fans would work particularly well on those radiators with a higher fin density. Therefore, there is more surface area to cool and keeping your loop cooler in general. Now this is fantastic, especially when you compare it to most of the other fans that are out there on the market. These fans do have built-in anti-vibration pads, which of course work extremely well, especially when you're running these at the higher levels of RPM. It reduces the noise and vibration which your case could experience from these fans running at those higher RPMs. But that is not all guys. Perhaps you would like to cool your whole house with some RGB ring fans. Well, Thermaltake offers a daisy chain type of sequence where you can connect RGB fan controllers together, each running five fans on one controller, and you can run up to 80 fans simultaneously. So if for some reason you're doing some crazy project that actually does require 80 fans, these fans would be the one for you. Each fan is capable of 16.8 million colors. Each fan has 12 individual LED bulbs, which can be customized and changed to whichever color you want. These fans run at 500 to 1500 RPM. They are PWM fans and the speed can be changed using Thermaltake software, which you can download online. Now, as I did say, these case fans are great for airflow. They run at 48.34 CFM. So it's got a great airflow rate. We'll be able to keep the air going through the case and pushing all of the heat out. Running at 500 RPM, you can expect these fans to make a noise level of 19.8 decibels. And running at 1,500 RPM, you can expect 24.6 decibels. So considering it's such a high static pressure and high airflow fan, it really doesn't make that much noise at all when you compare it to the likes of other fans that are on the market. These fans come with a two year warranty and are rated for 40,000 hours of use. These fans do come with a frosted ring, whereas the last fans were clear. Now, the benefit of having the frosted ring is that it diffuses the light a bit. So the old ones, when they're in your case, you might have patches of just really bright, overwhelming LED light, whereas this one helps to diffuse that light a bit and spread it more evenly throughout the case. So that's really good for highlighting all of the components in the case evenly. The older ring fans also only had four LED bulbs around it. These ones have 12, as I said before, which are individually customizable using the Thermaltake software, which again, you can download online. So let's talk a little bit about the software. As you can see, we have up to five profiles that we can save individually. Now, the good thing about this is you can daisy chain up to 16 controllers and they will all be visible up here and they will be lit up white. At the moment, I don't have any chained up. So we're just going to be showing you guys around the software and showing you guys what customization is available within this software. So if I had three fans hooked up, I can change this light mode to copy color on both of the two end ones. Now, this is good if you want all of your lighting to be the same on each fan, and then you can change the light mode to whichever lighting preset that you wish, or you can go over to this section here, and these little circles here represent the light bulb. So if I go, say, onto Pulse, and then I come over here, as I said before, each fan does have 12 light bulbs you can play with. So 
If you want to select whatever color you want, say you want this one, this one, this one, and this one, and you want them red, you can hit the red. That will change fan two and fan three as well to red because we have them on copy color. Now you can click off of these and you can select these two and you can change them to green. So you can customize your own lighting effects within the software. Now you can change the lighting speed up. So we've got it in pulse mode. So if you can imagine a fan pulsing, that's what it would be doing at the moment, but it is set to slow. So you can set it to normal or even fast and you can speed it up to whatever your desired level is. I personally like it in the so fast bracket, which looks amazing. Now, if we move up to the top here, we have performance mode, silent mode, and PWM mode. So silent mode means that it will run at 500 RPM, its lowest RPM. Performance mode means that it will be running at its maximum performance at 100%. Now, you can slide these though and vary it within any of these two functions. Now, if we move to PWM mode, we don't have the option to slide this back and forth. What PWM means, it is going to change its speed depending on your system's temperature. So it's a really smart software in a sense. You do not have to have your color mode set to RGB. You can put it on a single color and choose whatever color you want within the color spectrum. So I hope you all enjoyed this really quick review on the new Thermaltake Ring Plus LED fans. I'm going to be doing a case build with these and you can just have it on one color if you're not into the whole RGB thing, which is what's really great about these things and the amount of customization that the software allows for you to achieve. So what do you guys think? I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember to check out more of our other videos. We've got lots of custom PCs, reviews, tutorials, water cooling tutorials, and DR1 modding tutorials for you to check out. Like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you guys in the next one.